Okay, here's the first problem. The average value of this function. So, there's the answer. But, you, you just integrate it with respect to this. Yeah, so use Wolfram for that one. Okay, and now the second problem. This one, um, uh, such that values interval is that. Okay, um, what you need to do, where's my work for this one? Okay, yeah, um, so I took, did I just write? Yeah, so the integral from 0 to b, yeah, and since all the terms have b in them, wait, 0 to b, and since all the terms have b in them, this is what you wind up with, and then you can factor one of the b's out, which kind of cancels out this b over here. So yeah, and then you say 3 plus 3b minus that equals 4. Then you bring the 4 over, I screwed this up a couple of times, you bring the 4 over and you kind of mess with that negative a little bit. So you get equals negative 4 because in your problem right here it says is equal to 4. So after you take where is it? Uh, uh, yeah, after you take the integral you're going to set your answer equal to 4. And then you mess with the negative a little bit and then you get this equals zero. Then you complete the square seen here, which looks like all this garbage over here, but yeah, so you do this, and then you take this and you add it to both sides, and then you solve for b, and then you get this plus or minus thing here, and when you take the plus part of it, that gives you the bigger value, and when you take the minus part of it, it gives you the smaller value. Okay, and then that's what you should get right there. Okay, and then this next question, I had no idea what I was doing, but we get enough submissions to where guessing did a lot of the work. So, that's those values are right. They're not exactly right because the estimations that you're supposed to get give you like a really wide range of correct answers so I have no idea how to do this but these will get you the points for the question okay now I'm gonna send another video for the next assignment give me a second